Yeah, you know, everybody has a story, you know. You know, that was a heartfelt story my man right here just said, you know. Me, myself, I'm, I'm sort of like you guys, you know, I come, I come from a, I'm from the Bay Area, but I'm from a real small town in the Bay Area. I came from Richmond, California, just like my man right here. It's a very small town. It only has like two exits on the freeway. And it's probably like about 100 murders a year there in our community. So uh, what happened was my mother, she, she paid attention to that, and she moved me to a place called Pittsburgh, California. So in this place, very small town, but what it did for me, it gave me an opportunity to become who I am, you know, because if I would have stayed in Oakland or if I would have stayed in Richmond, I wouldn't have been able to, to express myself and become who I was because there's so much madness out there, you know what I'm saying? And it was a lot more easier for me to just, okay, coming from those hard places and getting to this new place and I'm the new face around, it was easy for me to promote myself and get myself out there, you know what I mean? But I know how I feel when you come from a place where you know, you, you feel like you don't get your props, you're not gonna get hurt, you know what I mean? Because we like the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to city in this place where we're from. But what it did for me was I was able to get my music out to these people and they and they stood behind me and gave me that push so I can go to a big city like Oakland or San Francisco and uh, and they'll like me because the people who the people that, that I made my music for, they went everywhere and promoted me, man. They went everywhere and pushed me and gave me that spark and that drive, you know what I'm saying? Even though I was from a small town, a very small town, like, you know? And uh, I, I hear a lot of people like yesterday, one of, one of the fellas we were talking to, he was just like, he felt like, you know, here, he felt like he was being held back because, I mean, I guess it, it was, it's not a lot of people. But when you have opportunities like this, you got to realize, man, you're not being held back. You know, it's really on you and how you motivate your friends and how you motivate the people. Because some people rap and they just want to be famous, man. You know what I mean? They say, oh, man, with this thing right here on me, they want to be like that. You know, but they don't understand and they don't see what he had to do to get that kind of thing. You know, he, 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 didn't, he didn't have to, you know, when, when we was in the streets doing the street thing, you know, we had a lot less than what we have now. You know what I mean? It took for us to really just to grab hold to our dream and really just give it our all to have what we have. You know what I mean? And we all came from real tough society, real, real, real horrible things we've seen in our life. We've been through a lot of struggle. But uh, just like you were saying, man, you know, Bob Marley, you know, he, he he wasn't a he was a reggae artist, but to him he was a rapper because he spoke our lifestyle. He spoke out against the oppressor, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, that's what music is about, it's about expression. And it, and some people don't have a tough life, some people have a great life, you know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong about rapping about a great time and a great life, if that's what you come from. You know what I mean? It's great to be positive. Because uh Everybody don't have it rough. Some people, some people want to want to want to feel what love is. They want to understand what love is. So you, if you know what love is in your artist, express it. So you know, so we can all learn. You know what I mean? So what we do is we make this music from the heart, from the soul, just so the people will know who's tuned in. They'll know that they're not alone. You know what I mean? And they just get through it. You know what I'm talking about? But uh, yeah, man. You know. Great opportunity here at this place, man. Y'all just make sure y'all take full advantage of it, man. And do whatever you gotta do to get to that next level, man. But just go with the flow, but don't be no fool. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing, man. Hey.